In today's world, Iran's regime stands as a looming threat to global peace and stability. Its reach extends across the Middle East, fueling proxy wars and disrupting vital trade routes in the Red Sea. Driven by ambitions of nuclear dominance, it inches toward strategic immunity, placing the West in a precarious position. The painful lessons of past interventions, like the Iraq invasion, remind us of the perils of military entanglements. Yet, liberation from Iran's aggression doesn't require foreign intervention. But Iran isn't just a bastion of Islamic extremism, it's a nation grappling with internal strife, with a population yearning for freedom and democracy. Within Iran, a resilient resistance movement, led by the MEK and supported globally, challenges the regime's grip on power. Since 2017, brave MEK resistance units have defied the regime's crackdowns, showing remarkable courage in the face of adversity. Diplomatic efforts with Tehran have faltered, signaling the need for a change in policy. Designating the IRGC as a terrorist organization and backing the MEK resistance units inside Iran are crucial steps. Despite widespread calls, the EU and the UK have hesitated to label the IRGC as terrorists, fearing further instability in the Middle East. But such hesitation ignores the storm already raging within Iran, a regime facing internal crises and external pressures. The world finds itself entangled in a proxy war with Iran, but the solution isn't on Iran's terms, it's within its borders. Targeting the regime's vulnerabilities, like the IRGC, and supporting the Iranian people's quest for self-determination, is the prudent path forward. It's time for the global community to confront reality and stand with those seeking liberation from tyranny and terrorism. The world has to choose, either embracing regime change or be engulfed by the consequences of inaction.